ahora. None too soon from the looks of them. See here, Caleb. Look for the woman. Literally sent from heaven. This man is a minister. Joseph. Be all right, Mr. Hobbs. Oh, I think so. Bethia will look after, won't you, Bethia? Of course, Mr. Hobbs. I have no idea how long we were out there. We lost track of time. It seems as though we kept going. We never got anywhere. Well, the desert's all the same. And the mountains appeared never to get closer. And you must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Got lost. It's happened to others. Mr. Hobbs, I seem to remember there was a... My daughter Deliverance. Yes, I remember. Well, thank you for your help. Please excuse my daughter, Mr. Keyes. She has an affliction. She can't talk. She can hear and understand everything that's said to her, but she's unable to speak. Thank you, my dear. I sent Joseph and some of the men out. They've just brought your wagon back. Oh, I'd like to go out and thank them. Well, maybe, maybe you're still a little too tired. Why don't you wait a while? I'm all right. I'd like to. All right. Like the book says, gather up the fragments that remain, but none be lost. Joseph, if you haven't gathered up my wife and me and brought us here to, uh... Stanton Mailer. 
Sign mailers. I've been through many a western town, but I've never quite seen anything like this. Well, you see, Reverend, we are from New England. Connecticut. Some of our buildings here, our mode of dress, even our speech. It's hard to break old time. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. Hello, Ethan. How are you? Fine. How are you today, sir? Fine, thank you. Hi, Joseph. Well, Dad was injured in a runaway wagon. I'm afraid he'll never be able to walk again without those crutches. One of a series of misfortunes that struck our village lately. Misfortune. Well, I don't want to trouble you with our problems. I'd like you to tell me. Well, we worked a mine here. Gold. Not the richest mine in the world, but enough to sustain the village. And it played out. Doesn't pay now to even work it. Tell the Reverend about the church, Caleb. Some time ago, our church burned down. And shortly after, our minister took ill and died. Like the book says, Reverend, we have suffered many things in vain. Let's look on the brighter side, Joseph. Now, when we found you in the desert, the minister, we had hope that you might stay with us and Caleb. help us. Caleb, he's coming. Moon's coming. I'll go to him. What do you think he'll do? I don't know. Just remain calm and tell the others to do the same. This may be the worst of our misfortunes. Shutting down the mine. The last of your share, sorry. I'll be back. We've nothing more to give you. I'll be back. Please, leave us alone. Moon? Wickedness proceedeth from the wicked, but our hand shall not be upon thee. <coughs> Moon, he's an old man. He meant no harm. He's just an old man. Let him go. Let go of him. You'll kill him. Stop it. Turn him loose. Let him go. Thank you, Reverend. Let him loose. You'll kill him. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you kindly, Reverend. Reverend? So we got a preacher man among us. Let him go. Turn him loose. I'll let him loose. When I'm ready. Uh -huh. I'll be back. Preacher man. All right, Joseph. I'll make it, Reverend. Thanks be to you. John, I'm sorry to get you involved in this. That's hard to believe. It's hard to believe that one man, one lone man, can exact tribute from a whole town. You saw the way he handles those guns. You know the kind of man he is. If it wasn't for you, Reverend, I might not be among the living. Well, where's the law? Don't you have a sheriff? Only a man. Me. All right. Moon has two guns. Don't the people of San Malus have guns? We don't believe in violence. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. I know, Joseph. But do you believe in paying tribute to evil? 
You're right, Reverend. Moon is evil. But so long as we had the gold to give, it seemed the easier path. I don't know. If you no longer have the gold, what are you going to do? I don't know. Can't you send for a marshal? We are such a small community, so far off the beaten path. But Moon said he'd be back. Yeah, I know. Reverend, what were your plans? Where were you and your wife? Um, what was your destination? Seguera. Minister there is retiring in the year, and I'm going to assist him until then. Thank you. Well, you'll be staying a while, at least until Mrs. Keyes is able to travel. Now, I was just wondering. You said a while back you might be able to help. I think you can. How? Oh. As you know, the people of San Melis have been very depressed lately. I think it would be a great comfort to them if you could conduct the services this Sunday. A great comfort, Reverend. Of course, you have no church to offer you, but I'm sure we can find some suitable spot. I would consider it an honor. Excuse me, sir. It's your wife. She's asking for you. Thank you. He sent me a fine young man. Jonathan, that sun still burns. No, no, you don't even have to think about that. 